In this clip, I'm going to demonstrate some of the aspects of Microsoft Teams from the host's point of view and from the participants in the meeting's point of view. So I'm about to set up a meeting uh, using Microsoft Teams that's scheduled for today, the 4th of, or the 7th of April, 2020, between 4 p.m. and uh, 4.30 p.m. So I'm gonna actually change that 4 p.m. to just before 4 p.m. I'm going to change it to 3.30 actually. Okay, because I want the meeting to be running in a, in a couple of minutes time. So that's the date and details. The um, the uh, users who have been invited haven't been chosen yet. Sorry, they have been chosen. One of them is a Noel, Noel Tierney who has an official GAA email address and the other user has a Gmail account. So there's two different categories of user here and they, they're, how they interact with the meeting is going to be uh, slightly different as you'll see later on so now i'm about to actually i said send the um the invite to the meeting so when i send the invite what will happen is in my calendar the details of this meeting are going to be stored so pressing the send button up here in the right will do that so there it is appearing in my calendar and there you can hear possibly the two recipients getting an email to indicate that they've been invited to a meeting so I'm going to briefly flick from the host account or the host screen, which is this one. And I'm going to go to the first of the two participants. And there you can see an email has come in. Um, so I open up the email. So when you when you send the, um, the the meeting or the invite to the meeting, it appears as an email to the, to the recipient. But it's kind of a structured email, which outlines when, where, who, and who is the organizer here, who's been invited, sorry. Um, so Noel Tierney is one of the people invited and Training LA is the host. And I can either say yes, maybe or no to the invite. So I'm going to say maybe. And I could have put in a, what I call an additional note if I liked. So we're now moving from the Microsoft environment into a Gmail environment. So the, uh, the Gmail environment, I'm just going to put in a note. So uh, I'm late already for this meeting. I'll be there soon, but I'm not going to give that detail. I'm going to send that. So when I send that and I leave the Google environment, okay, I'm back on the Microsoft environment now where the um, where the host is. And then secondly, I'm going to flick to the other user. So the other user, as I said, is a, an official GAA user. So this user has received the, the email in a slightly different layout. But it's the same 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 idea and the user can can reply with the the rsvp button as well and this user is also going to attend so as well as attending uh this user might want to say you know you know hope it's good or something hope the meeting turns out to be good and a yes okay so now my two potential attendees have replied so i've been in the host screen and now I am in the second of the participant screens. So I'm going to flick back to the host again. And the, uh, the host has a couple of more decisions to make. So before and it, so the, the meeting has been issued and it's been sent out. And the people are, have replied saying they're going to participate. And now the host uh, has to make a few more decisions regarding how the meeting will actually operate. So where the host can do that is up here in the center of the screen where you see meeting options. And under meeting options, there's two decisions really for the host to make. So again, as you can see, the, the title of the meeting appears, the name of the host is appearing, and what you see next is the important choices to make. Uh, you have a lobby area. So when the meeting is actually kicking off, when it's starting off, you can keep people waiting in the lobby. So they can't join the meeting instantly once, it, once the host starts it off. So when the host is um, admitting people to the meeting, he may he or she may want to just admit, may want to admit everybody who's been invited, or they can be slightly more restrictive, saying people in my organization uh, can bypass the lobby and can trust others, but or maybe perhaps the, the most restrictive of the three choices, only people in my organization can bypass the waiting area. So that's the option I'm going to choose here. So my Gmail account holder should end up waiting in the lobby when this meeting is about to start. And the second choice the host may want to make is 
with respect to who can present. In other words, who can uh, share their screen and who can speak at the meeting to all of the other participants. So again, the default is everyone, but the host may only want specific people or only him or herself. So I'm going to leave that as specific people, sure. And what I'm going to do here, there's two choices. I have Noel Tierney. So I think this is the GAA Noel Tierney as opposed to the, um, the Gmail account holder. Okay, so the host then needs to save that. So that will determine, as I said, who, who ends up in the waiting area and who um, gets in straight away and then who, who can present and who cannot present. So I'm going to close that window. So I'm now back on the host screen again. And the, uh, the Gmail user is here on the other screen. So flicking back to the host screen. The host can now join the meeting. The meeting is meant to be on the last uh, several minutes. So the host is now joining the meeting. And uh, I need to hit the, the join now button. Okay, there's no sign of my other attendees yet. So I have to join in first anyway, because I'm the host. So I'll join the meeting. And Office 365 is connecting me as you can see. So now I'm in the meeting. So over here to my right, uh, I've hit the button about the participants. Okay, so what it's telling me is that the Training LA is the organizer. Noel Tierney has accepted, that's the GAA account. And um, the other, the Noel Tierney the, the, with the official GAA address is autom can automatically join the meeting. So that's, that's where we are at the moment. But if I move back to, uh, I'll move back initially to the, um, the, the official GAA address holder. And when he or she wants to actually join the meeting, they've accepted it, but they, haven't, they aren't in there yet. I have to click on the reminder. Okay, when I click on the reminder as the participant now, okay, I'm, in, in a, I'm acting as a participant, that the button I click is this join teams meeting button, okay? But I'm going to avoid doing that for for the moment because I don't want to have too many people on this meeting. But that's that's the option you would choose if you have a GAA account. So you go to the reminder, click on the link, and join the meeting. So I can just minimize that. I'm now going to flick back to the other individual, the uh, Gmail user. And for the Gmail user, uh, the option to join the meeting is down here at the where it says join Microsoft Teams meeting. So that user is going to click on that link and I'm going to join via the web. Okay, so the Gmail user is going to join via the web. And I want to join now. Now I'm going to flick back to the, the host account for the moment. Okay, so this is me and as the host here. And the host uh, can, can obviously see that I, the, the second Noel Tierney, the Gmail user, is not um, actually in the lobby area, in the waiting area yet. So if I flick back to the Gmail user and click on join the meeting again, which that screen should be open, I think. So it should. Okay, so I'm now acting as the, as the Gmail user, even though my face looks the same. So now I go back to the host. So that that echo there I didn't like. Okay. So the lobby area doesn't appear to have the um, other Noel Tierney, the Gmail person. Okay. That should be the case. And again, I'm simulating this using uh, one machine, etc. So that may be the source of my problem. Okay. So that's what happens and how the host can control the, the meeting. When the meeting is uh, over, the host can hang up and that will end the meeting. Um, the microphone, the camera here can be turned on or off as the meeting proceeds. And uh, there's other couple other settings as well. Okay, what I'm going to do just before I wrap this particular video up is I'm going to hang up for the moment. Okay, and I'm going to go back to the calendar 
Okay, and we can kind of pretend that the whole meeting didn't happen at all. Okay, that the meeting hasn't happened and that we want to cancel it instead. Okay, so if I click on the meeting here and just press the, just delete it actually. Let's go back to it again. Right, now that I'm in it, I can cancel it, sorry. There's a number of ways I can cancel it. This is the way up here in the top left-hand corner. To cancel the meeting. And again, I can say, just maybe as the host, couldn't make the meeting. And I should be saying apologies, but I haven't time to, so I'm just going to leave it as it is. Couldn't make the meeting. And I'm going to cancel the meeting. So now I'm going to flick back to my uh, Gmail user. Hopefully he or she will have, is about to receive an email. Yes, that's true. I just arrived in there and you see the detail of it at the end of it. Uh, Cancelled meeting. And I, with a little message I left called couldn't make the meeting. So that's the Gmail user dealt with. And hopefully when I flick back to my, um, my other user on the, uh, my official GAA user, he or she's also got a meet, uh, what I call an apology. Or is that an earlier one? No, that's this one, actually, yeah, that's the one. And it says, hopefully it says, uh, couldn't make the meeting somewhere. Yeah, there it is. So there are some of the elements and features that you need to be aware of when you're um, hosting a meeting using, three, using Office 365. Okay, so the details again include things like the, um, the, who you invite, and then when you invite the people, what privileges they have, okay? How can they enter the meeting? And if when they are in the meeting, what can they do? Can they present and they speak, etc.? So there are some of the, the key decisions you make as a host of a meeting on Microsoft Teams. So that's the end of the clip.